Well, well, well. Look who just walked in. Miss Botfly herself. Miss Botfly? Why call her that? Because instead of laying eggs here like the others, she sneaks over to the neighbor's farm to do it. The only difference, it's not nearly as creepy as a real botfly laying an egg in human skin. Wait, what? That actually happens? Oh yeah, buckle up. Let me take you into the wonderfully weird world of what happens if a human botfly lays an egg in your skin? Zoom in! Botflies are insects found in Central and South America. The females of the species are particularly notorious for their creepy little trick. Instead of laying their eggs on you directly, they hitchhike them onto other insects, usually mosquitoes or ticks. They'll stick the eggs to the abdomen or underside of these bugs, turning them into unwilling couriers. And this is where things start to get real creepy. Once one of these delivery bugs, let's say a mosquito, lands on a human, the warmth of your skin tells the eggs it's go time. They hatch right there on the mosquito and within seconds, a tiny squirming lava slips off and burrows into your skin, usually through the mosquito bite, a nearby hair follicle or even soft skin. And you, you're going about your day completely unaware. But under the surface, the lava is already getting cozy and creates a small breathing hole in your skin called a wobble pore, which usually looks like a little crater. Through this hole, it gets oxygen and sometimes it even pokes its tail out to breathe or release waste. To keep you oblivious, it releases chemicals to numb the area and keep your immune system from taking any action. Then over the next 5 to 10 weeks, it gets to work feeding on your tissue and fluids, growing fat and yes, spiny. Those tiny backward facing hooks help it stay firmly lodged in place no matter how much you might wish otherwise. As it grows, you might start to feel a bit of discomfort, itching, squirming or even sharp little stabs of pain, especially when it moves. Yes, it moves. You might see some pus coming from the breathing hole or even spot the tip of the lava poking out. It's undeniably gross, but in most cases, not particularly dangerous unless it gets infected. Eventually, it reaches full size, about an inch long. When it's ready to leave, it wriggles out of your skin and drops to the ground where it burrows into the soil to pupate and become a fly. The wound it leaves behind usually heals up on its own, though it may leave a scar and a story you'll be telling for years. So, what did you just go through? That's a botfly infestation, also known as myiasis. It's rare and usually not serious, but in very rare cases, the lava can end up near more sensitive tissues, like the eye or even the brain, where things can get more dangerous. Bottom line, if you notice something weird, especially if it moves, don't wait. Head to a doctor. They'll usually suffocate the lava with petroleum jelly or something similar to coax it out and then remove it with tweezers or surgical tools. Quick clean and no more uninvited guests. Trivia time! Did you know a female botfly can lay up to 300 eggs? Yes, 
and their life cycles are roughly 60 to 120 days, depending on the environment and conditions. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Anna Sophia. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Uh-oh. What are you thinking, Kitty? Do you think we could make a butterfly egg scramble? Uh, no. Never mind. Just no.